Once your keg monitor is connected to the cloud, it will appear on your dashboard as a new site. Click on new site to get more details. You'll see your keg is listed but as unused, so click the settings icon to bring up the settings page. You want to assign a site name which will be used for all keg monitors used at this particular location. If you want to change the units from US to metric, go ahead and do so. Then scroll down to the first port. This port is associated with one of your kegs. Add a tap handle number and a name. Everything else is optional. Make sure you set the state to in use, otherwise any serving activity will be ignored. It's very important that you set the keg size to match the keg that you have connected to your keg monitor. If you have a partial keg, you can set a different starting volume as well. Once you're done, scroll down to the next port and configure as before. Remember, the tap handle number and name are important and the state must be set in use. All other descriptions are optional. Configure your keg size, starting volume, and drink size as before. You can always use custom values if you desire. When you're all done, scroll down to save configuration. You can hit the sites button to take you back to the top level. And your site is now visible. Your cloud dashboard has your kegs loaded and it's ready to use.